Okay, so now before we start having some examples in order to understand and learn how to join tables using SQL, we have to learn very important things in SQL and that is SQL aliases. You need to learn that once you start querying multiple tables in one SQL statement. So let's check this. If I want only to select the customer ID from customers, this should not be a problem. So if I execute this, I will get all the customer IDs. But once I specify multiple tables in one query, you need to tell the database which customer ID in which table. Because as you see in our example, we have the customer IDs in two tables, in customers and in orders. And if you leave it like this, you will get an error where the database is going to tell you, I don't really understand which column do you mean? Do you mean the column from customers or from orders? That's why we need to specify one more thing near the column name and that is the table name. So we write customers dot customer ID. And with that, you are telling database, I want the customer ID from the customers. So if I execute this, I will get as well the same result. There is no problem here, but you need to specify that once you are working with multiple tables. But the annoying thing here, if you just always like write the table name over here, it's going to be really annoying to write. That's why we're going to work with aliases. So we're going to give the tables like a nickname and we call it in SQL aliases. Okay, so now in order to do that in SQL, we're going to go just beside the table name and we're going to write down the keyword as then give the alias name or the nickname so i'm gonna use the c instead of customers and now the database understand okay in my script he is using c instead of customers so i can go everywhere and instead of using the customers i could say c so if i run the result i will get exactly the same thing there is no error but now as you can see it is much easier to handle my script i'm gonna just write c dot customer id instead of the customers dot customers id so it's really easier way to handle stuff and i always tend to do that so i really recommend to use aliases in order to have like smaller scripts you could do as well the same for the columns so for example we have here the customer id i could go and rename that and to do that it's the same stuff i go right beside it and write as so instead of having customer id i'm gonna write like cid so let's run this and as you see, SQL understood that and he is printing at the result as well CID. So he understands I'm renaming this column in my result as CID. There is very important aspect here to understand is that it's going to rename that only in my script and in the results. The database will not go to the tables and going to rename the tables or going to rename the columns. There is different query to do that. So this command, the as, it is only temporarily at my script and the result. So nothing is changing in the data model or in the database. It's going to stay the table customers and the column name going to stay the customer ID. This is only like a tool to help you once you are writing SQL statements and as well to help you rename stuff very fast to have it as a result. All right, so now we have everything to start with the first type of joins and the inner join. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well all the presentations. Thank you so much much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye!